It's time to dig deep, deep into the bowels of our scrotums. <laughs> it's time to lace up our boots, ladies and gentlemen. We're going into a mine. Welcome to the descent. Now, I will say this one thing. We did play this live, and if that's something you'd like to see, please consider smashing that subscribe button, clicking my bell, and then you'll be notified any time we do something spectacular. Now, enough talk. Grab yourself that monster. Let's get your heart rate up, and let's descend. Freshly armed with a journalism degree, I return to my hometown haunted by the chilling narratives enveloping the Rockwell mine. These unsettling tales have lingered for years, their darkness casting shadows over the community. Drawing on the skills and knowledge forged in my studies, I am now poised to unravel the mysterious history that conceals the mine's secrets. As I venture into my inaugural investigation, report focused on the Rockwell mine incidents. I'm hoping... Oh my god, you didn't give me enough time! <gasps> There's missing people. Haunted legends emerge from the abandoned mine. <gasps> oh, she's hot. That's my grandma. I shouldn't have said that. Oh, I'm digging that. I hope it's not copyrighted. I guess that's always a risk, right? When you play stuff live. That's what makes me nervous. Hence why I'm recording as well. We can cut all that out. Oh, already. Oh my god, it moves. These are the worst flashlights ever. Diary updated. Look around the area to find a tool to unlock the entrance gate. Fantastic. Well, where's the gate entrance? Right here. So we need a crowbar or bolt cutters. Maybe right here. Yeah, just casually sitting out on some boxes. This is going to freak me out. I hate these flashlights that move. There's a shed. Oh my god! What the hell was that? <laughs> Your character will die soon? What? No! Your computer will be next? <gasps> what the hell just happened? I'm freaking out. It said my game <laughs> data was corrupted. <gasps> oh god, help me. <laughs> Why is there so many balls? <laughs> I don't know what's happening, guys. <coughs> I need a crowbar. <coughs> I think we're about to die already. <coughs> I don't know what's happening. <coughs> Let's go check the Porta Johns. <coughs> oh, no. April Fool's Day prank. Oh my god! That was an April Fool's prank. That's the coolest thing I've ever seen. Now let's find a crowbar. <laughs> we got a crouch. Guys, I don't know where the crowbar is. Or whatever it is I'm looking for. Oh. Aha! That scared the shit out of me. And then I started freaking out. I kind of believed those things. I was like, oh my god, they hacked. Okay, let's get back into this. Missing. Abandoned mine. No trespassing. It looks like my thumbnail. John Bolton. <laughs> it 
Age 25, male. He's 5'6", 130 pounds. He's shorter than I am. And October 15th, 1950, Rockwell Mine. He has never returned from the mine, and the authorities have not been able to locate him since. Okay. Oh, sweet. Can we... Oh, we can move it. That's just fantastic. I'm going to forget to do that. Hidden tragedy cover-up reveals startling truth about troop in abandoned mine. Look at this handsome young devil. 34, 5'10", 170. Oh boy. Notebook, private eyes. Investigate the Rockwell coal mine. I don't really want to. This place looks creepy as shit. <gasps> oh, nope. What's up, Gary? I didn't even go look at that door. I can't tell if I'm running or not. Haunted legends emerge from the abandoned mine. Y'all like when I read this stuff? In a twist of eerie and unexplained, the abandoned Rockwell mine has revealed a tapestry of haunted legends shrouding its dark history in it. Enigmatic tales and unsettling whispers. I forgot what I'm supposed to be doing. Investigate the rock. And I couldn't go inside? Oh. Sweet. Thank you, Sheila. Oh my god. Oh, no. I like German Shepherds. Maybe right here? Nope. Not that side either. Is that the break? Nope. Can we jump? I don't know. <gasps> There's boxes. What if we can move those boxes? Maybe jump down? Oh my god. This is one of those games. We just gotta go to the right place. go down that's unlocked okay maybe not that looks nice this kind of looks like if uh, the long dark was a horror game Okay, I'm not reading that. I'll read some of it. Ten miners. Oh, God! Oh, God. It's gonna be one of those. It sounded like something opened up. Still nothing. <gasps> Did y'all see that? <gasps> God 
نظر رو داده او oh مای گاد استاپ ایت از ات سمثین ستاندین در یو هیر دیت God, I, I want to get out of here. It's making me go back and forth. Not anymore. I gotta watch my mouth. I don't like this anymore. <laughs> I don't know if I can keep doing these. Oh, what does it want me to do? Find a fuse, oh, of course. What is this? I and a team of fellow workers ventured deeper into the mine. Their task was to initiate a controlled explosion in a new section of rock. As per instructions, I remained behind, being the newcomer to the team. About 10 minutes later, I heard the deafening sound of explosions. When the rescuers finally reached the miners, they discovered that only Harry de Gaulle had survived. However, he was not the same person he once was. Something had gone terribly wrong in those depths. I can't help but wish there was something I could have done for them. John. You just left them there. Hold up. Okay, there's nothing on the back. We gotta find a fuse. I don't want to go down there. I don't know if you can, but it looks like it. Ah! <laughs> I hate you guys. <laughs> it sucks. Sabotage on Earth, the sinister plot, and the abandoned mine. In a shocking turn of events, evidence of deliberate tampering with the infrastructure of the abandoned Rockwell mine has come to light, leaving a community baffled and questioning the motives behind the sinister act. As a new shift of miners is welcomed to the mine, what they uncovered was beyond their worst nightmares. As they ventured deeper into the mine's intricate tunnels, it became clear that the structural integrity of the mine had been compromised. Support beams had been intentionally weakened, passageways blocked, and critical safety equipment tampered with. The discovery sent shockwaves through the group of miners who were left to contemplate the malevolent intent behind these actions. There's literally, I think, someone breathing behind me right now, and I don't want to turn around. This act of sabotage raises critical questions who would go to such lengths to endanger the lives of miners. What does that say? Alter okay, what ulterior motives lie behind the calculated act? Is there a hidden treasure or valuable resource within the mine that someone is willing to go to extremes to secure? Rescue teams and local authorities are now on high alert as they attempt to navigate the treasure tunnels and restore the mine's safety. The investigation into this deliberate act of sabotage is ongoing and the public anxiously awaits the answers. Please God, no. <gasps> it stopped. This flashlight makes it worse. I don't, I don't want to go down there. I'm assuming that's probably where I got to go. I can't go in there. We need a fuse. There's no door there. There's just a door to go. Okay, I guess we're going down. Please, God. Okay. Maybe. Maybe not. <laughs> I think we're safe. We just gotta find a fuse. It's not a fuse. Oh, there's a ladder. We didn't see that. There's gonna be something at the top of it. I already know it. Oh, thank God.
Did you already? I didn't see it, man. I'm sorry. An unforeseen collapse of the mine's doors left the miners in that section with no means of escape. A bold and daring rescue mission was swiftly organized, but unexpected complications emerged, posing additional threats to both the rescuers and the trapped miners. One of our fellow, I'm so nervous. One of our fellow miners ventured back inside the block section, aiming to reach Jack, who was deeper in the mine. But then another collapse occurred. They didn't make it, and all I witnessed was death. I should have been the one in there. My sanity is slipping away, and if the rescuers the rescue efforts fail, I question the purpose of it all. Joe. Oh no. Oh no, I gotta open things up. Oh, fuse! We got it! Anything else? A gun? A shotgun? A way out? What is that? We move it. Is that something in there? No. You said a, cru yeah, a crucifix something. Some holy water. A priest outfit. <gasps> Dude, this. The atmosphere in this sucks so bad. Sign of silence. I think I have that. Generator fuse box has been unlocked. Look, I'm down for anything. Okay. <gasps> Oh my god, no! Let's do it, ACP. You act all big and tough. I know I should probably go in the elevator. Look at that exit. Let's go. We're done. Oh, God. The miners are falling ill at an alarming rate. There's someone behind me. With one of them becoming seriously ill to the point of attempting an attack on others today, a pickaxe in the hands of a sick individual can result in significant harm. Fortunately, John... Being the largest person in the group by far managed to subdue him swiftly. Swiftly. The question that looms in our minds is what is unfolding within the depths of this mind? Kyle. Oh, man. Guys, gals, thank y'all for being here with me. I don't know if I could do this one by myself. I don't actually know how many people are in there. Ah! Nope. There's no key. Did that door shuttle me? Oh no! Give me some of this. <laughs> I need to calm down. I'm about to go get a beer at 8.30 in the morning. What am I not seeing? I need a key. Can't go that way. Oh my god. Ah! <laughs> Stop it. 
The miner's communication equipment unexpectedly malfunctions, resulting in confusion and a breakdown in coordination during what should have been a routine operation. As a consequence, Tom faces blame for the explosion as he forgot to properly vent the methane lines, which ultimately led to the catastrophic collapse. James. I can't go that way. This has to stop. I'm about to go take a shot of freaking Pendleton whiskey is what's about to happen. Take an anxiety pill. In this twisted realm, death seems like the only escape from this living nightmare. I can feel the darkness closing in, and I'm no longer sure if there's any way back to the world of the living. I hope you forgive me of my sins. What did you do, Robert? <gasps> oh my god, there's something running. Something busted open that gate on the other side. I should go back and explore that area. No, you should not. We should just leave and get back in the trunk. Where all the stupid balls fell down. There's nothing up here, right? No key. No, uh, door to open up. Uh -huh. go it said something oh was it the door upstairs Radios have become frustratingly reliable, unreliable below a certain depth, leaving us feeling increasingly isolated down here. The situation has escalated into arguments as we persistently voice our concerns. Our superiors, however, remain unyielding, insisting that everything is functioning properly. If that's the case, when then why do we continue to lose communication as we venture deep into the mine? Thomas. They're nice. <gasps> nope. More letters. Miners are turning on each other. In a split second, someone appears perfectly fine. In the next moment, they're launching surprise attacks from behind. This has been happening at alarming rate. Authorities claim it's due to excessive drinking. And they warn of potential termination if this continues. I don't understand. They've never fought each other, even when intoxicated. Daniel. You know what's funny is ACP's over there talking about being some kind of badass until he plays one of these. And what's gonna happen is my girly screams are gonna make him jump. Oh no. We missed something. What is that noise? <gasps> All the teapots going. Teapot. <gasps> ah! Hello? Sir? Ma'am? I just need the key. Guys, I'll leave you alone if you just give me the key.
Oh god. <gasps> ah! Uh -oh. Stop it. <gasps> the door's back open. I still can't get in there. Don't. Oh my god. Sir? Sir? You have a pickaxe, sir. What are you doing with that hammer? Oh, 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 what just happened? <gasps> It didn't like that. Oh my god. If I get chased in this game by that guy. We still didn't find the key. We can't, that door, you just can't go into it. Okay, we're gonna quit coming down here. Oh, <gasps> he's up there. Oh my god, please tell me I gotta go up there. We're just gonna do it. This dude's gonna kill me, watch. This is like the dumbest thing I could be doing. Oh god, he's not here. Ah, shit! We're gonna go this way. I'm not gonna say, nope, I'm not doing it. It's, it's worse when you know it's coming. Oh, we're gonna go the back way. No? There's going to be something standing there in a minute. Oh. I can't drop down. No? Well, I guess we'll go back this way. Is that a dude hanging there? Oh great, I probably can't. <gasps> that dude had a bad day. <gasps> Control room key. It's a nightmarish existence down here and the line between reality and the supernatural has blowed beyond recognition. As I dangle from this rope, I can't bear the torment any longer. The relentless horrors, the gruesome killings, and the haunting visions have pushed me to the brink. I love you all, but I can't take it anymore. Oh man, that's not the way out. You don't do that. You just leave. Ah! Oh no. What's up? Stop it. Watch your step. <gasps> oh! oh my god! I quit. <gasps> huh. Oh shit, he's like chasing me. I got hurt. I don't think I can run. Where are we going? Not that way.
I swear I can't run. Maybe, maybe it is. It's just really subtle. We came from that way, right? Oh. Control room key doesn't fit. Got it. We gotta find the control room. Did we see another room? Oh. I bet it's this one. Oh no. Turn on the power for the elevator inside the control room. We've been witnessing an unusual spike in cave-ins lately, and it's not your typical shifts. Something about them just doesn't sit right. The inspectors have been diligent, assuring us that everything's been double-checked by professionals. I want to believe them. The walls boast extra thick support beams, and in these areas, collapses shouldn't be happening. But they are. I've seen it with my own eyes, and others are echoing the same concerns. It's as if we're disturbing something deep within this place. I can't ignore this any longer. I need to find a way out. This mine just doesn't feel right. Henry. Can we open drawers? No? Ah. We need a key though, right? The elevator, oh. oh. Elevator key. Deep inside the mine, there's an unsettling restlessness among the workers. Every time they work on the deeper mine floors, they return with erratic and aggressive behavior. It's as if the pressure deep down is getting to them, but the exact cause remains a mystery. This is a phenomenon unlike anything I've witnessed in my lifetime. David. What the hell is that? Let's just go down to the mine. <laughs> that sounds like a great idea. Ha! Oh my god, this dude's gonna chase us the whole time. Continue investigating the subterranean coal mine. Oh no. There's fog. Now I can't see. Uh I'm guessing that's not a door. Gate. Oh, maybe it is. Great find more keys elevator access that one oh there's a room up at the keys in there I think I can actually turn the fog down guys if Y'all can't see, like, at all. I think I can. <gasps> oh, no. Unprotected mine shafts in this area. Okay, cool. I was more hoping one of y'all said you can't see so I could turn it down. <laughs> We can open it now. No. Safety boots. 
surely we gotta go back up. Oh no. Oh, there's lights over there. <gasps> that opened up. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I just knew I was going to walk over there and someone's going to jump at me. Oh, come on, dude. You can squeeze through there. Those footsteps are so loud. Another letter. Oh, no. In the deeper tunnels, eerie unexplained sounds have been plaguing me at night, and it's starting to take a toll on some of the guys. I've heard these unsettling noises multiple times within just a few hours. However, when I inquire about it, everyone dismisses me as if they can't hear the sounds. It's almost as if the noises exist only in my mind. How can this be? What's happening down here? Adam. Again, guys, thank you all for being here with me. I can't actually see the, uh, the YouTube page because I'm just trying to alleviate some issues. So if you're new here, I appreciate you being here. I hope you're enjoying what you see. Remember, if you want to be a part of the chat, all you got to do is uh, smash that subscribe button. Uh... I think we need a lever. No? Let's lock ourselves in a cage. <laughs> that sounds like a great idea. It looks like we need a lever. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Plum smashed it. <laughs> We read this one already. Oh, it's a diary. It's controlling entities. Something was controlling the miners. They've never posed a threat before. This is impossible. I've known Jack for years, and he wouldn't harm a fly. Yet he mercilessly pickaxed Brian to death. Oh my god. Or am I just seeing things? It has to be something deep within the mind. Something is manipulating them. Their eerie sounds and appearances fading in and out of reality are beginning to unnerve me. Is this all in my mind, or am I genuinely going insane? Oh. oh, God. I'm guessing we gotta go back and find a... Find a lever? There's nothing in here. You're sick, Plum. That was horrible. <gasps> uh. Well, that's it. We're dead. We're just gonna lay down and breathe in all this coal dust. Can we open boxes? bags and of course the door is open don't do it oh it's got us going around
Well, that wasn't so bad. Can't go back that way. <gasps> oh god, there's another tunnel open. <gasps> Hello? <gasps> Are they venting gas in here? I can't read that. Oh. God, man. Okay, just read it. Calm me down. That missed the depths of the earth, our celebrations felt something... Oh my god, I'm not going to be able to read. That missed the depths of the earth, our celebrations felt like something out of a storybook. The laughter of the miners resonated through the tunnels, creating a sympathy of joy that drowned out the surrounding darkness. As I stood there, my heart brimming with contentment, I realized that there was no other place I'd rather be. This unique and unforgettable birthday celebration deep within Rockwell Mine was a truly remarkable experience. It was, without a doubt, the best way to mark my special day. Warm regards, Emma Wilson. I need Emma to come give me a hug. First aid. Today was an unforgettable day, one that I'll forever hold close to my heart. You see, it was my birthday. And instead of the usual celebrations, I had something extraordinary ex, extra or extraordinary in my mind. I asked to spend the day with my father, who works at the Rockwell Mine. As we descended into the mine depths, excitement welled up inside me. The miners, known for their rugged faces and coal-stained hands, greeted me with open hearts, turning the dark industrial tunnels into a magical wonderland with their improvised decorations and creative party games. Our time together in the mine was pure joy and camaraderie. These miners, usually tough as nails, revealed their softer sides, sharing stories of bravery and resilience while we took countless photos to capture the happiness and togetherness that define this day, Miss Emma Wilson. Emma sounds really nice. <gasps> Sir? What's up, Deanna? Deanna? <laughs> How are you doing today? <laughs> Get me out. Oh my god, is that another letter? Am I reading a bunch of letters? Father's love. I have no choice. The entrance is blocked and Emma ventured deeper into the mine. It's a risk, but what else can I do if I don't try? Everything was going fine until the explosion and fighting brought chaos and my daughter ran away from us despite my pleas for her to stay close. I will find you, Emma. Oh no. We're gonna find a little girl. Oh my god, you sack of shit! Get me out! <laughs> oh, we still didn't find that s stupid crowbar. Or lever. Oh my god, he's on the other side of it. I'm about to have to drink some water, dude. My throat's all dry. It, it hurts. We came from that way. <gasps> and now that's open. Uh... Got stuck there for a second. <gasps> uh, sir, you're glitching. Oh, 
Oh, right or left? Right or left? In the Marine Corps, we do everything on the left foot, so let's go left. Left was a bad idea. Is that dude gonna chase me? Well, we're not going left. stuff through the rocks and there's a key we find ourselves trapped deep within the mine and the available oxygen is diminishing rapidly despair is creeping over us upon a closer examination it becomes apparent that wilson resorted to harming his fellow miners to preserve the precious oxygen i could hardly believe that he would commit such an act however my eyes bear witness to the grim reality with only a few hours remaining i saw what i saw and there's no denying it What does that go to? Gate one key. Okay. Oh my god. Sir, it's gonna be okay. We're gonna fix you. <gasps> Gate one. Ah. Ah. Let's just shut that. And another key. Seeking answers, what really caused the explosion, the killings. How could they turn on each other like that? I had no choice. I had to defend my daughter from those who were trying to take her away. I've treated everyone with respect for 30 years, and this is how they react in tough situations. I can't believe it. Something is profoundly wrong. I need to uncover the truth. Mr. John Wilson. I'm okay. I'm okay. That was nothing. Barbie got scared too. She couldn't write. You know, I already got dressed for the day, you know, to be professional. And I'm gonna have to take a shower. What in gate two? <laughs> Did that just say a key is a device used to unlock a door? Am I supposed to? Am I wearing rubber boots? Did we miss something? <laughs> ah, shit. Yep. Okay. Surely we're not supposed to just run across that. It said we needed rubber boots, right? Like as we got down into the mine. Find lever and fuse to operate the elevator. That's all we have. I didn't see a single pair of boots, like... I'm guessing we're running? 
What if we... What if we turn the generator off? That probably did nothing. If that worked, we're the king. <gasps> we're the king of survival in horror games. Can't stop me. A mother effing Mad Max. Oh shit. This asshole is going to turn the stupid generator on. God. <gasps> Shit. My heart hurts. My chest hurts. Radiation miners. Hold up. My heart hurts. Deep in the mine, everyone is emerging from the depths radiated as if they've encountered some sort of nuclear material. The sound is unbearable, but can you hear the sound of radiation without the equipment? I'm losing my mind down here, John Wilson. I didn't see another way. Did we come this way? I don't know anymore. This is where he was. Can't open that. Leave me alone, I'm nervous. I don't know what I'm saying anymore. <gasps> what is that? Fuse. Cold drafts are appearing in unexpected places, and it's not just from the wind. Some of us suspect there may be hidden passages, even though we're deep underground, which seems impossible. There's only one way in and out, but more people are reporting this strange issue. Hold up. Always got to check. You can trust me, I'm a doctor. People are assholes. I don't want to come back down here. We went that way, right?
I'm gonna not know what tunnel I need to go down. There's only one left, right? That one? But this generator works. Oh, we need the... I bet there's a fuse for... Oh, God, dude. I can't go that way in gate two. We missed something. Okay, there was some stuff down here that could have been knocked out, I think. I was too scared to walk down here. Air explosions. There's no levers. Maybe we should go back to the elevator and, and put the fuse in it. I didn't even see a place for a fuse. Here's a place for a fuse. Huh. But we still gotta find a lever. Maybe. That way's blocked. Did y'all see Brian get smacked with the pickaxe? Maybe this thing's open now. It's not. What's this way? Was that always open? The hell is the lever at? We're gonna walk down every single one of these tunnels. Okay, we're just gonna start here. Unless you guys know where it is. Oh my god, there it is. Our equipment is acting up despite regular maintenance. These unexpected malfunctions have left us in the dark at times, relying solely on our headlights for hours before intersection lights are restored. Is someone playing pranks on us? We have a weapon! But like every person in a horror movie game, they don't use it. We can't go left. Ah! 
Oh, there's someone over here. These tunnels suck. That's still not open. That's good. Let's just keep going deeper. You know, y'all are sitting back just watching this. Y'all don't know what it feels like. Let's just go. No big deal. Hello, sirs. Um, why is the top open? I don't feel safe anymore. Oh no. Okay, we got storage and something else. What is this? I like it, but it didn't belong there. Oh god. Gas and mask. Hearing protection. Well, that sounds fantastic. Hard hat area. What about that hard hat right here? Help. Lockers. <gasps> oh. Is that a key? Storage room key. Evidence has surfaced revealing that warden, that warden sabotaged our efforts, effectively sealing our fate. As we continued our descent deeper into the mine, we glanced back and witnessed him igniting the gas canisters. In an instant, a deafening explosion followed and he vanished. Another collapse ensued, leaving us, leaving us trapped. The question that haunts us is, why would he do such a thing? Because he's a dick. Was the storage room one of these back here? Before we keep going? No? Yes. <gasps> oh, there's gas. Ah! What the hell was that? Can we get one of these? I don't want to wear one of those. Generator room key. It's the sounds. The increasing number of guys going missing is impossible to ignore and no one can provide any information about their whereabouts. We're instructed to carry on with our work and told they'll be found, but I can't shake the feeling that I might be next. John sought help the other day, which was unexpected which was an unexpected plea, but both he and the one who went with him haven't been seen for days. Oliver. Ah! I don't... Well, I know a gas can is a portable container. That was a wild guess. It didn't say generator on it. Oh, no. Please tell me that's not going to, like, pop up. Is that... 
This sounds like it's- OH SHIT! Guys, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Smash that like button. We read that already, right? Are we wearing it? I don't know if we're wearing it. <gasps> oh god, it's gonna put us in a thing. Uh, one. Tunnel C. You're a dick, sir. B. Uh. <laughs> Sir? I don't know why they're haunting me. I didn't do it. Alright, we have what? Tunnel A, B, and C? Why did it pull that up? Alright, we gotta find a key. Tunnel C. Maybe Tunnel B? Let's go find and see. This game makes me want to pee. The end page 2. The text unveils a horrifying tale. One that speaks of a demon's insatiable thirst for power in our world, a power that can only be attained through the sacrifice of a woman. If this account holds any truth, then the book before me is no mere fiction, it's a tangible link to the calls of the relentless chaos that has besieged us. This mine was never meant to be on Earth, it harbors the ancient demon, a malevolent entity that has lurked in the shadows for untold centuries. These people read too much Lord of the Rings. Great. He's twitching. <laughs> ah! Okay, we can't. Oh my god, dude, I can't think. Where's tunnel A? Nope. Oh my god, stop it. Oh my god. ancient book, I stumbled upon a cryptic old book in a Mayan chamber and it hints at the existence of concealed chambers that have never been seen by any human before. This revelation further complicates my efforts to locate my daughter and ensure her safety. I need to read this book. It might hold the answers I so desperately seek. Oh, We're okay. I have to turn around. It makes me. And I don't want to. I just want to stare at the rock wall forever. What was that?
We need a map. What the fuck is happening? Ah! This sucks so bad, man. Oh, the door's open. I'm ready to be done now. It's time to, to stop. Old markings, a stumbled upon peculiar ancient looking markings etched into the mine walls as I venture closer to the site. The incidents of killings, collapses, and the bizarre appearances of miners are happening all around me. And I'm left perplexed about their origin and purpose. Ooh, almost didn't see that. Tunnel C. I don't know where Tunnel C was. All right, we'll go right. I think we read that one, right? Yeah. Emma. Hey, sweetheart. Tunnel A. There it is. <laughs> ah! I should just expect that. There's the generator. the point of going down sea Pinocchio is about to jump out of this thing okay the exit oh my god <gasps> he's got a freaking bomb well that sucks please tell me that opened something up Uh, 
We don't want to turn that on, right? Unexpectedly, we experienced a flood scare last week with no clear source. With the water rushing rapidly, it seems like we may have broken into a water pocket of some sort. One particular tunnel is constantly at risk of flooding, making it exceedingly challenging to carry out our work in these conditions. Ethan. Alright, that looks like a pump. But... Power cord. We gotta get to the generator. God, dude. This sucks so bad. Oh. Where's the generator? Page three. Perhaps the book itself was in interred by long forgotten civilizations and secrets buried for eons, and yet our ceaseless excavation led us to the horrifying revelation. I bear a heavy burden, knowing that I must do everything within my power to thwart this demon's escape. Oh boy. You know, here's a fun fact humans are the only species that like to scare each other and be scared. Water pump on. That's not the generator. No. Oh. Uh. That's on, right? Yeah. Rock well. That's the mine that we're in. Can we turn this on now? How fast is that going to drain? I mean, is this like one of those things you got to turn it on the right way? Like turn one side on? Oh. Maybe I should turn both pumps on. Is it draining? It is. Is that God. oh god what is that oh it's dynamite oh boy
Here's this asshole again. With his pickaxe. He's got the dynamite. Please disappear. Sir? <laughs> <laughs> Guys, you know what it is. It's the stupid sounds they throw into your headphones. So that's going to be the rule, ACP. If we play horror games, you, got, you can't use your surround speakers. You got to put a headset on. I'm guessing we go this way. We put this here. And then we have to follow the cord. We're gonna get jump scared, we already know it. Look, he's already back, I see his stupid legs. Uh oh. Sir? Sir? <gasps> he drowned. Let's read. The end, page four. As the truth crystallizes before me, I am overcome by a professional sense of dread. We have unwittingly triggered a ritual intended to summon the devil from his accursed place. The demon has manipulated us, turning our labor into a tool for its nefarious designs. Regretfully, this marks the only instance where a woman has ventured near the mine, and the responsibility for this calamity falls upon my shoulders. John Wilson. The hell was that? Make it stop. Uh oh, uh oh, I can't move. <gasps> Don't hurt me. Oh God. Okay. A one minute series of. We're about to come face to face with the devil. Well, let's go left. Ah! You missed, you dickhead. I don't know if I can actually say that. The explosion left the tunnels in ruins, and I'm desperately trying to find a way out. It's dark and filled with dust, and the further I go, the more I start to see shadowy figures resembling humans. With each encounter, I grow rage wells up inside me, and everything turns ominously dark. Noah. Where do we come from? Oh shit. Oh, this sucks. Okay. Not going left. Unusual geology. Oh my god, he's standing right there. The rock formations deeper down are unlike anything I've ever encountered. It's unsettling and begs the question, what have we dug into? This wasn't on any survey map, and I've never seen anything like this before. What is happening here? There's an asshole right here. I guess we're just gonna follow it. Cause that works out. Marco! 
<gasps> it's the devil's anus. What the hell? Oh my god. And there's the book. I must acknowledge the grim reality. There is no salvation for her or myself. I must detonate the explosives, ending the torment of the deranged miners and sealing this malevolent force within. In doing so, I hope to prevent such a calamity from ever befalling others. Please find it within yourselves to forgive me for the sins I'm about to commit. Okay. Uh. Ooh, look at that asshole! Ah! This says open hole. I am not jumping into his anus. <gasps> what are you doing, sir? Don't go near it. Don't do it. Uh, what do I do here? Oh. What do I gotta jump in? Oh my god, we, we gotta save him! We gotta save him! I am the ah. Ah. What the hell do I do? Tonight, you die. What is. Oh! Oh god. Ah! 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 Holy shit! I mean... What do I sacrifice my- Oh, oh god! Oh shit. Dude, just get in and let's go. Oh god. Oh. If a coal miner has a nightmare in his dream, he will not be afraid because he is living with the worst of the nightmare in the real world. I couldn't read his name. I'm immensely grateful to have been able to delve into the harrowing experience of the miners and unveil the untold story that had remained concealed from the public for so long. I believe I've played a role in granting these lost souls the peace they deserved. In honor of John Wilson's sacrifice and the profound impact he made, I'm committed to crafting a story that will ensure the world remembers the legacy he left behind and the ultimate sacrifice he made for all of us. Report made by Robert Smith, 